Magnesium is the twelfth element on the periodic table. And it is right below beryllium. And as you know from my beryllium video, beryllium is extremely toxic. So you might think that because magnesium is right below beryllium, it shares a lot of chemical properties with beryllium, it would also be extremely toxic. However, magnesium is not toxic at all, and in fact is essential to life. So right here I have a bar of magnesium metal. You can see it, and the white stuff you see on it is just uh, oxide and hy hydroxide, so it's pretty corroded. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take away all this corrosion by dipping it in some acid, and then you'll be able to see the nice shiny metal. Now in my hydrogen video, I used magnesium to generate hydrogen because when you put magnesium in hydrochloric acid, which is also known as muriatic acid, that's HCl, which is one hydrogen and one chlorine atom dissociated in water, so H plus and Cl minus, the magnesium will uh, displace two of the hydrogens in two different HCl molecules and then bond to two different chlorines to make magnesium dichloride and hydrogen gas. So that's, what, that's how I generated hydrogen for my hydrogen video. And this is also how I'm going to uh, clean the magnesium. Uh, hydrogen is very flammable, but more importantly, it'll also make some hydrogen chloride vapors. So that's the acid outside of water as a molecule. And that is very, very, very corrosive and will irritate uh, membranes. So I've got my fan, uh, my fan on. And I'm going to put in some hydrochloric acid and put in the magnesium. And it's going to bubble away. And I'll uh, show you a close up of that. Going crazy, crazy bubbling. the acid, but it's gotten wedged in there so I can't pull it out, so I'll have to wait. <clears throat> this is extremely exothermic. In fact, I'm going to get a thermometer. Okay, so let's see exactly how hot this is. Okay, shooting up, shooting up, shooting up. 108 degrees Celsius. So, that's very, very hot. Let's see if I can pull this out now. There we go. There is some bare magnesium metal. Super duper shiny. So here is that real nice shiny uh, magnesium metal. And now this is the solution of what mostly water and magnesium chloride because that's uh, the reaction product in addition to hydrogen gas. So, a little more about magnesium. It is the lightest metal that is useful to build things out of because the three metals on the periodic table that are lighter than it, lithium, sodium, and beryllium, all can't you can't make thing build big things out of them for various reasons. Sodium and lithium because they're so reactive. They'll react with water, with acid, even with air, um, or as opposed to magnesium, which will uh, corrode very, very slowly. Beryllium, which is the uh, metal above magnesium, as I said before, is extremely toxic, so you can't build anything with that. But magnesium, you can build tons of things out of. Aircraft parts are made out of it. Um, some race cars are made out of it, and in fact there was an incident where a, a race car actually caught fire because the magnesium in a large lump generally won't catch fire, but if it gets hot enough it will. And it actually, there was a horrible incident where it killed a bunch of people. Anyway, as I said, magnesium will burn, but in such form it's very hard to ignite it because the inside will keep conducting heat away from the outside. But, I also have magnesium powder, and 
it's not super fine. It's um, 40 mesh, but it'll still burn pretty nicely. So I'm gonna light that up on fire with a propane torch. Flashes, you see? Up. Now I don't know if you remember, but in my Morellian video, I dumped some into water and said that you could see exactly nothing happening, which is true. But that it is very slowly reacting with the water to liberate hydrogen gas. And I said that magnesium would do this slightly quick, uh, more quickly because it's lower down in the periodic table. The, its atomic radius is larger, and so it can um, throw away its elect it can give away its electrons easier. Now, here I've got magnesium powder, so much more surface area, and it's magnesium, which is lower down. So hopefully you mu you can see a little bit of a reaction when I put the magnesium powder in the water. Maybe you'll be able to see on camera. Little, little bubbles of hydrogen gas coming up. We'll stir it up a little. Have it fall to the bottom, because it is much heavier than water. Or not much, but it is heavier than water. And now if you look very carefully, it's even, it's very, very hard even in real life to see it. So you for sure can't see it on camera, but you're just going to have to trust me that there are tiny little bubbles of hydrogen gas coming off of here. And, oh, that one just floated up because of the hydrogen. And as you go further down, it gets more and more pronounced. So calcium is going to be even more, and by barium, you're going to really be able to see it on camera. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment.